Welcome, you're at the front gates of Ormond College. I'm gonna take you around. My name is Ruben. Hopefully we'll be seeing some people on the way. Let's go and have a look. Got KJ behind the camera. One of the most prized possessions of Ormond is actually the grounds and the gardening. It just, it just looks amazing. It takes you into the place. The groundskeepers just manage this place to perfection. And in spring and summer, when the flowers come out, they look amazing. Uh, as you can see here, we have the three main pick and buildings, pick and A, B, C. We're going to go up in one of them. These are the residential buildings. And we'll go up to the top, take a look across the top bridges. Uh, we're on the top bridge of the pick and C, B joining. You've got a lovely view out here. This is pick and lawn down here. I like to have a bit of cricket in the summer. Also, we sometimes have some afternoon drinks and nibbles out there, which is pretty good. All right, on lovely days like these, people like to get out in the sun. It's actually so nice out here. I'm gonna go over here. I think I've got some friends having some lunch. Well, we're doing a little tour of Ormond. What, what's for lunch today? Caesar salad. Caesar salad. Got a bit of Caesar salad. What, what do you guys like about Pickin and this area? What's the best part about it? Green. The sun's quite nice. Sun, sun, yep. Uh, grass. Shade. Big and flat. Chicken. Yeah. Do things on it. Harry, why do you like picking? Yeah, why do you like picking? I just like the memories. <laughs> the memories. <laughs> the memories are great. All right, we're gonna go and continue. Thanks, guys. We're gonna go. To the... Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you, man. That is my roommate. All right. Thank you. And the dining hall. Oh, we, we've seen you guys before. Yeah, we're just doing a little tour of Ormond. Yeah, what, Harry Potter fantasy man. Yeah, what do you like about the, the dining hall? The um, it's just so pretty. <laughs> it is pretty, isn't it? It's crazy. Right. Okay. This is the start of our main building. Um, if you could look up there, and there's a bunch of residential uh, little rooms up there, so that's where everyone stays. Uh, I'm going to take you into the JCR. The JCR is the junior common, as it states above. Um, and this is where most people hang out and chill out. We also have a cafe here, which is so cool. Hello, Flora, how you doing? What's your favorite part about the JCR? My co-workers. The co-workers. <laughs> so, yeah, Flora works in the JCR, making coffee, um, and it's a student-run cafe, so yeah, all the students make the coffees and stuff, and it creates an awesome environment for inside the JCR. Bit of renovating happening on in the quad right now, but we had a uh, Smoko, which is an event. Uh, it's like a student event um, run by the Students Club in here last week, and it was just beautiful. Like, it's just a lovely place to sit and eat. Do -do -do -do. I'm gonna take you down to the Sci-Li, which is the silent library. It's got, it's got a lot of books in it. I frankly don't spend much time in it because I make music and wouldn't really work out in here. I'm gonna have to be kind of quiet because it is a quiet library. So I'm just gonna scan into it. Hopefully I don't distract anyone. Hey Matt, how you doing? Hmm? How you doing? Good, Yeah, good, we're doing a little tour of Ormond. Oh, yeah, nice. what's your favorite part about the, the Sci-Li? I just like how it feels very academic in here. Yeah. Like I feel very studious, very intellectual when I come here to study. Yeah, it feels like you get your work done, doesn't it? Exactly. Yeah, yeah. There's something beautiful about silence as well. Exactly, yeah, yeah. It's pretty beautiful in here. All right, thanks Matt, we're gonna move on. Next location, Acker. Uh, this is the next building. This is the Acker. The Acker is a place of all academic endeavors. Um, I'll still have to be a little bit quiet here because, oh, I've got to scan myself in. Um, people are studying, so I will be respectful of that, but I'll also take you a little bit around. And you can see for yourself. Got certain shoots in there, maybe. I love the structure of here. Just like inspires the mind. This is pretty cool because you can see everyone around. Lots of books. Uh, it's like a big library. I feel like we should go up to some of those, like up to main building. Personally, one of my favorite places in the college. This is main building, level two, balcony. You get a full, full view of the interior quad of main building. I think we'd, we'd better have a look up there. 
go up into that tall tower. So currently taking you up to, this is the UCR, the upper common room. This is for people who are turning 21 or in third year. There are lots of pictures around, well, lots of old Ormondians in this various sports teams and stuff. Oh, now as you get up here, just take it in. This is the clock tower. We have the bell, which is like one story above. I can't access that, unfortunately, but I do get to see a 360 degree view of Melbourne and the surrounding area of Parkville, Carlton, Fitzroy, and even all the way down to Port Melbourne. You also get to have a look on the roof and the older architecture. Um, it's about, you know, 100 and 150 years old or something, so it is just a pleasure to see out this type of height and also in such an old building. Now you're at the front of Ormond College, the face of the building, the facade, if you will. And if you just take a look up, it's just uh, quite grandiose in its presentation. Now, nestled away beneath these shrubs is uh, one of my favourite places. I'm a music student, so what do I do in my spare time? Well, play music, and this is... Oh, we've got Meditation Mondays, all welcome. Might have to go to that. This is the Ormond Lodge. It's quite a... has quite a bit of heritage to it. And it's for all things creative, whether that's playing an instrument or creative and visual arts. Got a little beehive out there as well in the corner. Thank you for coming and joining me on this little tour of Ormond. I definitely know that in about six or seven minutes, it's not really enough to show you the kind of diversity and the amount of things that are going on here. Um, please come and check it out for yourself. Open day is on the 20th of August. We also have another open day next year. Um, or just come and suss it from the gates. It's an amazing place. I really like the, I mean, just take a look for yourself. Thank you for joining me. I've been Ruben, KJ's been behind the camera and uh, we'll see you soon.